Keke. What is up peeps, this is Sonicum2 and welcome to another of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle on the Battle Spots. And this time, I'm going to be doing the rotation battles this time. Why you may ask? Well, I got something I got some, some news. I, I actually just got a new Pokemon for the team and that is Kingdra. Why do I have... Usually, just replace the Guard Charm with King Trump for the rotations. Well, I still w will be using Guard Charms for triples, just because of that, of the powerful ground type known as Earthquake. But you know, just a little bit of a change around a little bit for sometimes, you know, you know, just because, yeah. So I'm gonna be facing crazy. He's no, it's that. And he is from Australia. And looks like we're gonna be getting another Trinoma not not as the city battles, but you know so sometimes it's just gonna happen depends on the luck. But with this Kingdra, I it is immensely threatening Kingdra because you know because some people mostly a lot of people don't don't even notice that it has the King Troy that has Sniper, which is an ability that just essentially boosts the critical hits by 2, instead of 1.5, which is insane threatening indeed, so, yeah, so, yeah, and with the uh, powers of the, uh, the, um, Oh yeah, scope lens as as a holding item and a focus energy to you know what is about to happen. King Truck will be able to guarantee to get 100% of the critical hits if it's used with a both scope lens and both of this both of the item scope lens and with the move focus energy. And I see some some people do use this move a lot and. You're about to see what's gonna happen in this part of the battle. So, and sometimes Kintra will be potentially to sweep every single Pokemon because of how insane, insanely ability this can can have if you have Scorpions and Focus Energy. And he put out a, a good, nice prediction because he will be able to pull up with that Dragon Pulse, will eventually take down my Kintra. Well, you know, I didn't make the good best predictions, but you know, that one hit KO because that because of that adaptability. Well, uh, very very nice nice prediction by him, because I was about to be put up with that focus energy and then be able to one shot kill everything with a. Boosted, boosted 100% critical hits. And now, that wasn't the best play for my part. So it's just, well, I don't know, really. It's just, you know. You know, he's not gonna make it evolve into my Charizard to make a Charizard ride. So yeah, with the drought. So yeah. Gonna use the flame power to one shot kill Lucario. Mega Lucario, that is. Well, the critical hit didn't matter. Looks like that the critical hit didn't even matter because the sun. So, yeah. He summons out Sylveon. Gonna wait for this guy to buy the time. So yeah. So we use flame flow again. To somehow 
and take that and tank that hit nicely. Just gotta use Moon Blast, which eventually go lowers my special attack. Nope, it didn't lower my special attack at all, which is good. Because, yeah. Just gotta use Burst Toys to eventually use a Hydro Pump. But it's not gonna do that massive amount of damage because of the uh, the sun, which decreases water type attacks because of the sun and Salazar is more of an of an bulky special defense side. So yeah. So you solar beam to take down a Blastoise. As yeah. So if you get to see this laggy sometimes, it, it's not the recording software at all, it's just the game. Probably it has probably it has like too many Pokemon spikes at the same time. That's that's the reason why, so yeah. Moving forward. And you know, as usual, two battles. Every Pokemon Wi-Fi battle battle spars always ends up in two battles. As that's sometimes how I roll sometimes. He's playing forward to take down Sylveon, and it's all down to Meganium. So, yeah. With a level 43, it's not going to be able to live that. Um, it's not going to be able to live the flame flow, so eventually Meganium will die. Unless if he decides to forfeit, that's fine, because either way, it's all over. Or he decides to tank and take the loss like a man. Sometimes you gotta take the loss like a man indeed. Just gotta wait for this guy to buy the time. But you know, it just happens, me being patient. Now I'm gonna use a flame forward to take down Meganium. Critical hit didn't matter anyways. Again. Even without the sun, the critical hit did not even matter. Besides, Meganium is in the uh, is in the NU tier. Which means probably it's probably uh, the sucky Pokemon in the NU, which it's more by now people never use this Pokemon. So yeah. But anyways, good game to you man. Good game. This time, let's just hopefully if this Kindred d does not die in the second turn, in the uh, second battle, because you know, rotations do tend to happen. You don't get the best amounts of locks, because because Kindred will be able to sweep everything if it uses the focus energy. Because when that focus energy is off, that's it. It it's just all over. But with the Tailwind, Tailwind. Plus, Kintra's and Scorpions and and uh, Focus Energy equals one shot kill everything because of the Sniper ability, that, which will eventually boost the critical hits by two instead of 1.5, which is insane. I mean, literally insane. This this Pokemon is definitely a, a devastating Pokemon of all. Some sometimes, because you know, just because of how fat that its defense is somewhat aren't that great, but, you know, it's a pretty much okay defenses. And looks like we're about to be getting an error connection. Oh, no, 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 never mind. It looks like we're about to face Carl, and he's from South Africa. Um, okay. Looks like this team is pretty much OP. So, just gonna have to, to keep my luck, folks. Well, good luck, Carl. Good luck. <sighs> Carl is issuing a challenge. Perhaps send out Greninja, Salamence, and Taiwan Trump. I'll send out my 
Sos. Tap. Yeah. Ah. Okay, there it goes. Yep. Let's let get away now. For this guy to eventually turn up by using the move now. Sometimes you gotta have to wait for these types of battles, you just gotta have to wait. You know, patience is a virtue. Unless he does... I don't know. Let's just have to see. Yeah, okay, finally. Let's use Tailwind, because he's about to go for an Outrage. What right now? And and by because of that... Oh, no, he decided to go for Fly. He decided to go for the Fly. Who would have guessed he decided to go for the Fly? Now, because of that... I think... Just... Might be able to get enough. Because he uses Fly, which is pretty much a bad mistake for that part. It should have been to go for the fucking Outrage. Or something like, or something like that. Because now I use the Tailwind, and hopefully... Okay, thank God. Thank God. Now it's time for the true powers of the Sweeping Kintra. Because that Tailwind is now boosted, Kintra will be able to go first with all of his attacks. Yep. If he did, if he doesn't be able to carry, if some of his opponents doesn't carry a focus ass, then that's good. And Solomon's is down, and Prinamas is going to be all over. If my Kindra isn't come, if my if if that my Kindra isn't down, of course. So. So. Because you know, and the best thing about the uh, about the uh, about the what the Kintra sniper with the boosted so thing, blah, what, I'm, what I meant to say is is if that the critical hits prevents prevents losing stat drop, losing I don't know. What I mean is is that it just prevents I don't know. You get what I mean. It's a the critical hits just prevents you from losing stat drops, like uh, Draco Media, which means I am fully free to use Draco Media, whatever the fuck I want. So therefore, Kintra is pretty much dominant uh, a Pokemon if it uses, if if depends if my Whimsy card is can use a uh, a a Tailwind, then that would be good because it's a support move. What do you expect? Tailwind is a support move. So yeah. I'm not gonna let my Kindra take that scent, so I'm just gonna go to my Zarzard to eventually take down the Gwinninja. Yeah, swimming, it spits out that, that um, Tai Wenchrum. Well, I think that's gonna be able to lift the Solar Beam and it will be able to use. Uh, Catch my ass to take down my toss at Y, but he will take suffer massive recoil damage from him. So by that, if he uses Rocky, if he uses head smash, then Peter Mods he'll go down to it. So yeah. <laughs> he uses solar beam. Wow, I'm surprised that it actually does care Tyrantrum. I cannot believe that that solar beam actually cared that Tyrantrum. I don't know why. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, well, looks like I'm not gonna complain about that. <laughs> anyways, well, looks like that it's, it's gonna be able to take me down with that, or maybe not, because rotate to place again, which is a bad mistake for that part, because he could have used water Sue again. Yep, the crit. L look at that. 
Never underestimate the powers of the sniper, scope lens, and the focus energy cane drop. And also Tailwind too. Never underestimate the powers of the Kindra's critical hit sweep. Yep, I pretty much take the match with 4-0. More like Flores. Yep. Man, Kindra is a fucking beast. In rotation battle. But, you know, Gonchon will eventually return in triples. You just never know. Gonchon sometimes might return in the triples. Because, you know, Gonchon sometimes can be useful in triples because, the, because of the powerful earthquake. So, yeah. And, you know what, folks? I'm going to have to end this uh, Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle with Battle Spots here. Anyways, it's a Sonic Kim 2 doing this Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle on the Battle Spots. Now, as I see you all late in the next video or in the next Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle for the Battle Spots. Anyways, it's a Sonic Kim 2 signing out.